Welcome back, folks. It's time for more Let's Play HBO Boxing. In the last episode, uh, Dynamo Ed went on a humongous run of destroying people. And we are now up to over 600 stamina. So, our next opponent is Aggressor Sample. Greatest name in the world. It really honestly is. All right, so uh, yeah, at the moment, as I said already, um, I'm going to be doing stamina, then cut opponent is going to be after that, and then finally strength is going to get upgraded. But for the moment, stamina is the most important thing right now. I need the health. Um, due to my style of attack, the health is important to balance it out so I can at least stay on my feet. Um, while... Then, cut opponents, obviously. It's useful if they make it past round one if I'm against a tough opponent. But yeah, at the moment we are 7-0. and Dynamo Ed. 7 by way of knockout. So, uh, at the moment, Dynamo Ed. Flawless career at the moment. 7-0. 7 by way of knockout. No decisions as of yet. His opponent is Aggressor Sample. From Staten Island, New York. 4 losses, 12 wins. He has, as you can see here, 375 health. Ow, and he hit first. That's fine. You look like Afro Thunder. Go away. Boom. Uppercutted. And another uppercut. And another uppercut. You're just going to be taking uppercuts for days, you are, aggressor sample. We... The power of uppercutting. Really I like doing that sort of uppercut move because it makes me, it makes my character look extremely psychotic. Watch this. Oh, damn it, stop clinching. Look, we know you're going down soon, Mr. Sample. We know this. Say we look stupid. But would you like to take on Ed Eddington? He's short it. Well, he's five foot nine, actually. That's not really that short. But he's 300 pounds and he can punch in the face. I wouldn't want to go up against him personally. Up, oh, uppercut. Ah. Oh, big uppercut. And Sample goes down. 59 seconds in the first round. But he is back up at four. Trying to wait out the invincibility here. Now the invincibility's gone. I can get another invincibility, which is good. Oh, he's starting to take me out. Ow! All right, okay, here we go then. It's Sample fighting back. Sample is fighting back here against Ed Eddington. He's attempting the comeback. He might even make it around two. I think he'll make it the second round. He probably will. Oh, down to the last, like, 20 seconds. Will he make it to round two? Ooh, and a big uppercut there from Sample. punishing hook to the head. Indeed. Just hooking everywhere. There's a big hit! Big uppercut! Will Sample stand? That's the end of the bell. Say by the bell does not happen. And he stays down. There is only a two minute round length. However, we won in two minute nine seconds. Yeah! Round one. We win. 103 punches thrown. As you can tell, Aggressor Sample is actually a tough opponent. Very tough opponent. Very lucky to get a win there. You have to take the advantage early. These boxers, since this game was made in 2000, these boxers don't get tired. You know, not like nowadays boxing games where they always get tired and stuff and you can't just like punch forever. No, it's not like that. Alright, our next opponent is going to be... You! Mr. Derek, he's a goader. First time I saw that, I thought it was Derek Borat. Oh. That's not nice. Anyway, so stamina boosting, nearly up to 700 stamina. In fact, I think we'll probably make it to 700 stamina before the match. Yeah, we should easily make it. Maybe like 720? Okay, maybe not 720. Probably not 720. Well, maybe 720. Only if this is a high amount. Which is not. 716. Close enough. Okay, so now we're on 716 stamina. Yeah, our stamina's just rocketing at the moment. Everything else is, like, stupidly low. 
But with stamina that high, we can take a hit quite well, which is good at least. It means that in endurance battles, we will be fine. And obviously, cut opponent next will also help in endurance battles. At the moment, my character is... In the first two rounds, he's going to destroy everything. But then after that, it could go either way. So I need something to give me the advantage. Stamina so I can survive an endurance some endurance rounds. And if you increase cut opponent, your opponent's going to have all sorts of problems. So Dynamo Ed now 8-0 is his record. He is looking solid. Yeah, look at me. I am awesome, says Dynamo Ed Eddington. And his opponent, Derek Godet. 13 wins, 7 defeats. Let's see how he does. He has 375 health as well, and he's already been uppercutted repeatedly in the face. If you ever find yourself getting punched repeatedly in the face, always remember to fall down because you're probably against Ed Eddington. Here we go, uppercut in time. Whee! Damn it, stop clinching! I hate clinching. Even when it comes to actual boxing matches, I do watch boxing. I hate when they clinch. It's like, come on. When matches are mostly clinch based, they're boring. And especially when that's like the most important match, like the main event of the night, and all they do is clinch, it's boring to watch. Alright, Godet's actually putting up quite a fight, actually. I'm shocked. I'm shocked he's actually lasted this long. Well, and he isn't actually looking too bad out there. I mean, he's getting punched in the face a lot, but he hasn't gone down yet. Oh, now I'm invincible. Now, that's probably going to change. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's the uppercut, and he goes down. He's getting right back up from it. Okay, okay. Well, luckily, my invincibility has worn out for him. But I will be able, hopefully, to get it back. There's more uppercuts. Gotta go over here just in case. Just in case he tries to escape. Maybe try and corner him into one of the corners. Ow! Ow! He's getting some hits off now. I don't like it. That punch was partially blocked. I'm going to button mash. Button mash. With my, it's not only really button mashing because I'm pressing square and uh, square and triangle, and then I'm pushing them both together to get an uppercut going. So, while put, having my finger on the L1 button allows me to get a nice combination going. There. At the moment, he's been down once. He's probably going to make it to round two. Yeah, he's going to make it to the second round here. Nice, he actually made it to round two. All right, so currently we're leading 10 8. That's good. And we threw 119 punches. Wow. All right, so we're looking quite good. He's looking. He's looking alright. Bit clueless, but I think that might just be his face. Alright, so now he's got 224 health. We've got a lot. And that uppercut is going to make him ready to quit. He's not happy now. He's not confident anymore. We are getting very cocky. We have him in the corner. We are now going to smack him in the face with our amazing uppercuts of death. And just get some nice punches there. Oh. Oh, we're having a clinch battle here, it looks like. And we've been separated by the unknown referee. He's down to 170 health. Come on, keep up the uppercuts going, Mr. Ed. Come on, Dynamo Ed, you can do this. Yes! We're into invincibility again. Get the power in. Oh, and he's down. Boom, stumbles, falls. Will that be enough to keep him down? No, he is going to get up. At a count of nine, just barely getting back up. Just barely getting back up at the count of nine. Let's see how long he can last. Oh, and he gets uppercutted again in the jaw. And he's down for the third time in the match. That might be his last hurrah. Yep, it is. Well, Derek Goda, good match. Mr. Goda. Fair play to you. The winner in, uh, yeah, technically 300, or 3 minutes and 23 seconds of the match. 1 minute 23 of round 2. Dynamo Ed Eddington. Overall, I threw 171 punches. He threw 58. And everyone credited Ed to be 
10-8 ahead. So that was a tough match. And that's what you have when you don't have strength or cut opponent. You can't really sort things out. But that will all change when our stamina gets to 999. Trust me on that one. At the moment, we are just raking in the money, which is good. Our next opponent is going to be James Lee. All right, let's do this. Still seven days. That will go up, by the way. Um, that amount will slowly go up uh, of the amount of times you can uh, train before a match. At the moment, it's at seven days. That will go up the higher we r rise in the tournament, pretty much. Anyway, our lowest rank, as you can see, is zero, which our cut opponent is now at zero. And that means, pretty much, I will not be able to cut any opponent with any shot. Which, as much as I would love to see, like, the lovely, the lovely bruises and gashes and swelling on the face, we'll be seeing that later. Um, but for the moment, I, w I would much rather just sort of get as much uh, health as I can to be able to knock my opponent clean out in an endurance battle. Where I'm punching all the time and he has to defend because he's got nothing else to do. Pretty much all that offensive works well, especially in this game. You do all that offensive, you're going to be okay. God, I do wish these loading screens were a lot sort of shorter. Because, well, I don't have much talk to talk to that. I don't have much to talk I'm about, which is a bit annoying. But anyway, so, at the moment, we are 9-0, undefeated, still. Only two competitors have made it to the second round. Last one being our last opponent, who I completely forgot the name of. Oh well. And his opponent, James Lee. Nine losses, so this shouldn't be too bad, really. He has 400 health, though, so this guy... Durable, very durable, so this could be a tough battle. We also, oh, that was a nice combination there from Dynamo Ed Eddington. Oh, and some nice uppercuts going there. Look at that. Oh, just dominating James Lee at the moment. Lee not being able to get any shot off. Oh, gets a hit. One right hand. One right hand from James Lee. Ed shrugging that off very easily. This is my play-by-play -play commentary, by the way, just in case. And now Dynamo Ed, still in control here, blocking the shot, blocking the punch. Didn't block that one though, and now is taking damage. But James Lee, at the moment, is taking more damage in my opinion. Is taking more hits. Oh, and a big uppercut! Knocks James Lee down. Will he be able to get up from that? Yes, he will. Knocked down just one minute into round one. Lee now on the ropes, maybe reeling from the fact that Dynamo Ed is kicking ass now. Dynamo Ed, relentless, just fighting, punching, using James Lee's head as a punching bag. He hasn't been, he's been doing nothing but sparring, so he just wants to hurt another human being. He is a humanist, folks. An absolute humanist. From Alberta, in Canada, Ed Eddington. And he's cocky. No surprise. Don't get cocky, kid. It's going to get rocky. But in this case, it's going to get rocky for James Lee, of all people. And we're going to keep going here. James Lee has nearly lost half his health, while Ed Eddington's still in a very good 711 health. That's 500 more health than James Lee has. Just think about it. And here you go. More uppercuts from Ed Eddington. We're into the final 10 seconds of the first round. And there is another uppercut. And James Lee goes down. Will he be able to stand up for the second round? Will he stand up? The answer is no. He is going out in round one, knocked out in the first round by the power of Ed Ennington. Ed Ennington wins in the first round. Again, 125 punches thrown. 57% of his punches landed, which is good. All right, now we're into stage three, KO Nation. We are rising up the ranks slowly, so I believe our ranking now is something like 20... I think it's like 25th, 24th now we are in the table. We're in the ranking. So we've actually done quite well in just three parts. Which is good. More money. Alright, so uh, let's have a check at the ranking, shall we? Yep, we're 26th at the moment. As you can see at number one, it is Rocky Marciano. That is no surprise. 
Marcian, obviously the great, the great box who died in a plane crash, I think. Uh, Joe Lewis, uh, great boxer. Larry Holmes, Archie Moore, Jack Dempsey, George Foreman, Floyd Patterson's obviously there. So some great names. Obviously, there's one name that is missing, and that is obviously Mike Tyson. I have no clue why Tyson's not in this game. No clue. I don't know. Anyway, let's carry on to our next opponent. Our next opponent. Not you, apparently. It's going to be you, Mr. Nate Pendleton. What's your stats, by the way? Six foot three, 252 pounds. Let's see how we do against you. We're still on seven days at the moment, so just seven days to spar, to train. We're nearly at 800, which is good. So we will be getting the 800 stamina, which means we just need a little more. Up oh, there you go, there's 800 stamina. Uh, which means we just need a little more, and then we can start cutting our opponents. Because our punches will have nails and barbed wire in them. Because it's, it's, it's funny to have that. Alright, so we're gonna about to get into our next fight with Nate Pendleton, and we have 844 stamina. Quite good. So now we will be able to take a hit. Any hit, and this guy... Well, we're into stage 3, so hopefully these guys are going to be a lot tougher. These opponents are going to be a lot tougher. We'll have to wait and see. You know, I, I, I don't know if they're going to be really good, or they're going to be really crap. I'm not too sure. You know, is my set I've got at the moment going to be good? The next few matches are going to tell. If I win them, then yes. If I lose them, then probably not. Anyway, so, loading screen out the way. This is what the KO Nation looks like. As you can see, slightly more... Oh wow, he's wearing half in his shorts. Fair enough. Alright, so, as you heard there from Mr. Letterman, uh, one, we're... 10 and 0 and 10 knockouts. We're set for 12 rounds. Trust me, it's not going to go that far. Alright, so we have played 10 games. We have won 10 matches. Our opponent has won 12 matches, 8 by knockout. So this guy could be tough. He's at 450 health, so... Oh, wow, and he actually got the first hit off. That's not good. Ow! Ow! There you go, there's a hit from me. Need another one. Eat that. Alright, so he had a good start, actually, to Mr. Pendleton. That was a very good start on his part. However, it is now all going to pot. Because here comes Ed Eddington. And he's going to start up... Oh, God. I'm actually getting... I'm actually taking hits. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. No, I'm nervous. This isn't good. No, no. There's the uppercut. Damn it, Mr. Pendleton. Why are you doing this? Ow. Right, this is bad. This is not a good start. Not a good start of the round at all. The fact is, Nate Pendleton is kicking my ass at the moment. I have the advantage, yes, when it comes to where I am. But he is actually he's actually dealing the hits. And he's probably going to get his invincibility before I am. Way before I am. The only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I fight back. Which I'm trying. See, Nate Pendleton is just destroying me at this point. Ow. He's taken off so much health of mine. Oh, we both get hit. Oh, and then he goes again. Up, oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to be any... Oh, God. Oh, God. Get out of here. A hard right hand. Get out. Right, now I'm steady. That's good. Oh, and I get another uppercut in. Okay, All right, I think my feet have steadied. He's now not cocky. He's confident. I'm relaxed. That's good. Oh, there's a hit. Up, uh, up, uh, up. Uh, come on. That didn't quite Who's going to win the first round here? It's been very close between both boxers. Both fighters have been very at it. Ed Eddington fighting strong at the end. Nate Pendleton, a dominating start for him. And it ends. Who has that? Both score perfect in the first round. 10 and 10 apiece. 79 Punches thrown from Pendleton. 109 from Ed Eddington. Eddington looking good. 
Pendleton also looking good. Right, round two. This is a tough battle right here. And Ed Ellington kicks off strong with two big right-handed uppercuts. And there's a third but blocked by Pendleton. And there's a big hit from Pendleton. Pendleton trying to use what brought him to the dance first time round. Those big, big swinging hits. There's some more uppercuts here. The button mashing, Ed Eddington. But now Eddington is cocky, which could be very useful, actually. If I can... Oh, now he's confident again. Okay, but now I have the advantage. And Pendleton looks like he might... No, he's fighting back. He's fighting back well. Standing straight left to the abdomen. Eddington just not doing anything at the moment. Just not getting any hits in. That and if, he's, if he is getting a hitting, it's not many. Now the uppercuts come in. Uppercut frenzy. Uppercut frenzy here at the moment. This is a good battle. No one's gone down at the moment. No one has gone down. But here comes Eddington. He's cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. He's probably going to get his invincibility first, which could be peril for Nate Pendleton, who has done so well against the undefeated man, who now has invincibility, and Pendleton is down for the first time in the match. It took three minutes, and Pendleton is not getting back up. Ed Eddington wins by way of knockout. All right, I got to admit, that scared me. That scared me. He did very well. My God. Anyway, I'd have won it on decision because two of the judges chose 10-9. One was 10-10, so I would have, I would have won uh, if it went to a decision, which luckily it didn't. And I really thought that any time I would have been knocked down, which would have been absolutely horrible. All right, so uh, I think that's going to be it from this part. As you can see, we are raking in the moolah. I'm going to go for a break here. In the next episode, let's play HBO Boxing. We are 11-0, and we are moving forward. I'll see you then.